Hey guys, this week I am tackling extra sloppy joes. I mean, talking about going back to your childhood. My mom was a member of the First Presbyterian Church of Iron River, Michigan, and she brought us to every single function. Now the ones that I looked forward to were the potluck dinners because I knew at the potluck dinners there was gonna be lots of different desserts, there was gonna be lots of different spaghetti, and there was gonna be different kinds of sloppy joes. God, I look forward to that. And I was never able to duplicate that recipe. I mean, I even tried getting some of the recipes from the church ladies, and it still didn't come out right. But then I found the right recipe, and I'm gonna share it with you, so let's go. Okay, the first thing we do is add a pound and a half of ground beef. Add that. Then I also have half of a small white onion that I've got cut up here and chopped up. We add that to it. And then we just break the meat down. And already the smell of those onions simmering. One jump chip. Okay, so what I'll do now is let it simmer for 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay guys, so it's been just about 10 minutes. The burger and the hamburgers are all nice and browned. And what we do then is you take one bell pepper, chop it up and add that. And everybody's favorite, around two or three good sized cloves of garlic. That's not enough, gotta get some more. Okay, now we stir this in. Make sure it's all mixed up good. Then you let those bell peppers soften for, oh, three minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, time for the ketchup. Three quarters of a cup. A dash of the Worcestershire. two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one, there's two, there's two. Sorry this is upside down. Oh, it's right side up, yay! We need one teaspoon of this stuff, Dijon mustard, and there might be one teaspoon, and it might be kind of rude getting it out, so brace yourself. Thank you, Dijon. You did a good job. Now we gotta stir that in. And then I'll add the rest of it. Oh, oh, that smell. Now this is just to get the ketchup started in there. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. I also need to add 
just one cup of water right now. And we leave one cup for later. want to make sure that you get all the stuff that's done on the bottom of the skillet. Stir that stuff up because that's just flavor. Just 100% flavor. Okay, and now we add in the salt and black pepper mixture. There's supposed to be a teaspoon and a half of each. So there's one, two, three. And now we add that last cup of water. Now, technically, I was supposed to add that first cup of water after I put the bell pepper in, but honestly, it's not gonna make any difference. Everything will be just fine. And now, we just let this stuff simmer for a while. But before we do that, I'm gonna add one more, just a little dash of cayenne pepper right now. That's a little dash, right? Now we'll turn it down to low and we'll let it simmer for around 15, 20 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. Okay guys, it's been a little while, but finally looks like it is ready to go. So, looky there. Yum, 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 beautiful stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slide the fry pan down to the cool side, and then we will toast the buns. Okay guys, I am going to slide the fry pan down to this side and turn off the burners because they're not needed. And now I'm gonna start buttering the buns. Remember, back side of a spoon, don't need a knife. Just keep repeating the same process over and over. Look at that butter. One more. Okay, I will be back in just a few minutes with the plates and everything and we will get this whole thing loaded up and we will see how it came out. The buns are getting ready. We'll be taking them off here in just a minute. Okay guys, we are gonna load one up. Look at that bun. And now here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put just a smidge more on there. And let's see if that top is ready and that top is ready. Well, and there we have it.
Okay, guys, moment of truth time. See here, a pretty. I haven't got the dill slice, got my Fritos. I'm ready to go in. So far, it's holding together pretty good. All right. <laughs> that is just like the ladies made it at the First United Presbyterian Church in Iron River, Michigan. Thank you, church ladies, for your wonderful, 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 wonderful sloppy joes. Made me a lover for life, and now I've got the perfect recipe that I can do it at home, and now I can share it with everybody. So I'm going in for more. Oh my God. Best sloppy Joe ever. Best sloppy Joe. All right, that's it. We'll see you.